what's up everybody back for another walk today we are rocking the sam yang 24 millimeter with the stacked setup so if you watched my last video you saw that i stacked the black side and one in the senior bloom 10 percent it was kind of a gloomy day so i'm gonna kind of do another video so you guys can just see what it looks like when there's actually some good light and if you can see right now I had to drive almost an hour to get to a place with no clouds. So we're going to walk around Seal Beach. I've never been here before, so everything is going to be new. It's going to be fresh. I'm excited. I have about an hour left of sunlight and I have this, you know, F 2.8, so I can't can't do stuff when it's too dark. So let's go. OK, I also wanted to mention that I am shooting most likely aperture priority and I'm not going to have any exposure comp this time. It's going to be zero because you got way more light so all right let's see let's see what we can find start off with a basic shot just to just to warm <laughs> warm things up a little bit you know just a neighborhood shot here like that maybe i should get some some car in the foreground just to spice things up a little bit right there huh? you know spicing it up a little bit So once again, I'm rocking the 35 because I anticipate, you know, walking through these neighborhoods and it's quite tight. I am going to go by the beach though. Try not to get killed. Some of this video wouldn't be that long. So today, what am I looking for today? Honestly, I haven't seen good light for a while. So again, I'm going to probably just focus on that. Try and kind of uh, imagine I was a seal beach photographer and I'm documenting the streets of Seal Beach because you know the mayor hit me up and he's like yo we need you to uh, show people Seal Beach and uh, show them the best parts of it I'm like all right cool let me just take pictures of this uh, beamer then <laughs> of course there's no good light on it except for the trunk so I'm gonna take advantage of that small little small little light action right there <sighs> all right let's go seal beach what do you have to offer me with your beautiful light and light is very nice right now since i don't have a lot of time I'm gonna kind of walk fast. I usually walk slow, but I feel as if this time I need to walk a little bit faster because I've never been here before and I don't really know where I'm going. But that's the best part. Looking for uh, some contrast. Looking down alleys. Usually there's good stuff down alleys. I'm trying to show off this double filter combo. So I'm uh, trying to look for look for things that have some light on them but i do like the way this oh yeah that's good so i thought the white truck looked good on the colored thing and that was one thing that i realized when i was editing my photos from the last video you know the gloomy day in laguna was that when when you have a day like that you really have to focus on finding objects or subjects of color. And the color is what's going to make the images work better because everything's gonna look gray and gloomy. But when you find bright objects, like if you remember the photo of the, of the Volvo um, or the, some of the older cars that were vibrant, they just made the photo look better even though it was kind of the worst weather ever. Um, oh, here we go with the smells again. <laughs> smells amazing everywhere you walk there's just flowers everywhere um, I kind of like the way this, this building looks but there's nothing interesting on the building man you know what I mean okay I'm just gonna go down one more street I don't know why but I'm being told 
by the cosmic forces to just go down one more street and I may find something. Another thing too with street photography is I've noticed and learned that you cannot try too hard. You know, if you're just like really, really trying to find something, most of the time it's not just not gonna come to you. You gotta let things be as natural as possible. You know, just walk around. If you find something, great. If you don't, who cares? But let it be as natural as possible. See, man, this is what I'm talking about. Right here. Okay, if somebody comes up to me and asks me what I'm doing, you do not say you're a street photographer. You say you're a photographer. Okay? Alright. Good plan. Good plan. Let's see if we can get some blur here. I was not ready for that shot, okay? I didn't even see the biker, but I, I kind of heard something was coming. And I'm here, I put it in manual mode, I'm like trying to adjust my settings and I'm at 1 over 40th with the exposure is completely off. And I just, I just shot it, like, I just shot it. Um, and actually, from what I'm seeing on the camera, it actually doesn't look too bad. It actually looks decent. I got lucky right there, see? If you let it be natural, it'll come to you. And this cute little dog right here. What's up, buddy? You're not gonna attack me, are you? <laughs> Some nice light just peeking. Peeking right there. Looks good. Let's keep going. I'm definitely not taking a picture of that Tesla. Even though the light on it's pretty decent. <laughs> I'm definitely not taking a picture of that thing. Like this, but I really like the subject. Yeah, subject's okay. Back to what I said earlier. Do you think the mayor of Seal Beach wants me to take a picture of this freaking truck with garbage in it? No. So I guess like the point of that is you know, if you keep your goal in mind, you'll have a better set of photos. Um, if your goal is just broad, then of course, you know, you'll come out with anything, but maybe it's better to keep it broad. That way you have more things to choose from. I don't know, dude, like... Like this light is just so nostalgic, like the way it looks. Like, just like, I don't know, reminds me. Just like reminds me of, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what it reminds me of. Oh, wow. There's too many nice cars, man. shot here. I like that. Now I 
juicy. <sighs> Seal Beach, huh? This is it. This is it. Alright, let's see. So just looking at this scene right here, I like this like light that's just kind of piercing through. Oh, and the uh, reflection off the window there is pretty good too. Let's see if I can get some height here. Get the little, trying to get the, uh... oh dude, that looks nice. directly at the sun. It's good enough. Good enough. How do I uh Bro why does the water look like that? You guys see that? So dirty. Oh my goodness. How the No, come on, right now? Bro, oh, I gotta walk down the street. But the light though. I'm losing light, man. I could see this working. Does this happen often here? I have no idea. I just moved here. Oh, okay. I'm a... <laughs> I look, I so you're like me then. I don't know. Okay, I'm not even from Seal Beach. At first, when I walked down, I thought it was mud. I know. I was like, what the heck's going on? <laughs> and I started. I guess it made for an interesting day, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, there's a car underwater. Oh my god. <laughs> that is a sight to see right there. No way. Yeah, dude, that's <laughs> that's picture worthy right there. Oh, this guy taking a shower here looks pretty cool with the sun. Can you just poop on me? No, oh, okay, we're good. Looks so good. You guys gotta see these waves, look at these waves. Yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. That's all right. Thank you. You're No point. 